So let's say that you really want to up the ante and make this a very challenging maze. We're still going to have it be the same dimensions on the outside. So that's still going to be a base with a rectangle that is 2.28 by 2.28. The thing that's going to change is how thick the walls of your maze are. So the only reason why we can only go 10 by 10 with the others, the walls are the same thickness as the halls of the maze, uh, the part that the BB would pass through. If we instead grab this dot and do a rectangular pattern where the geometry, the, the direction is going to go uh, up, that way, over, and we have to switch it to go the other direction, this way, we can space these out to be 0 0.095, which is half of the wall thickness, or half of the hull thickness, here and here, and make these both 24. 24 up, 24 over, and actually let's make that 25. I think that looks a little nicer. So 25 by 25. Now, we can actually design this all out. We still have to start the same way. So we still have to do a two-point rectangle here on the inside. That's going to be from here to here. All right. This part will not change. Your lid will have the exact same instructions for the lid. The only thing that's going to change is the inside part here. Make sure that wherever your marble will be, that you have four squares clearance for wherever you want the marble to pass. Okay, so I can make a, a wall here, but I could not make a wall here because there's not enough clearance for that marble to get through. I would instead have to go and make one down just a little bit. Now this would be a good clearance and I can make the rest of the walls for my maze. So if you want it to be more challenging, this opens up a lot more options for you because the, the wall thickness is half as thick, which means now you have that many more channels that your marble could go through. And if you want to challenge yourself even further, you don't have to use the rectangle tool. We can use just diagonal lines. We could use circles and arcs. There's lots of fun tricks that we could do. We can make tunnels for this to pass through. But you have to make sure that this space, let's go to dimension, from here to here, that 0.19 will be a 0.19 even if we do something like this. So if I go to measure this now, these are parallel. This is now a 0.152. Even though these were parallel, that marble is not going to fit through that channel anymore. So be careful how you design this. If you choose to make it more challenging, it also presents more problems. Okay? Which is good if you're into engineering. That's all that we do is we solve problems. So take a look at it. Review your halls, the space between your walls, and make sure that it will work before we try to 3D print this. Okay, good luck.